see, Roz is a Roz is a good poet. Like, I love Gigi and stuff. You know, they have a lot in common, whatever, but like, honestly, Roz is the much better poet. I mean, listen to this shit. Listen to how, look, listen to what a better critique of religion Christian death has than Gigi does. I mean, Gigi's message is really kind of obscured by the whole flinging shit thing, you know? It's like, I mean, it's cool and all. Like, he has this gimmick and it works well for him, but like, you know. It's just that it's better, like, other things are better. That's, that, that's all. Christian Death is, well, like, the original lineup, too. You know, like, they had, like, a really good thing going on. A real band. Like, Gigi kind of just does his own thing, you know, just hires a bunch of crap musicians or whatever, whoever he could find, just to, like, do whatever. I mean, I'm sure whatever. I, I, don't, I don't know. What the fuck do I know? You know? I'm just saying. What the fuck? Oh, my God. For real? Ugh. You gotta stop. Ooh. all it is. This is it. Right? It's not complicated. It's just like, it's just I try to make it more fun and exciting. <laughs> it's like I try to make it seem more fun and exciting. Like, that's the point. You know? That's the point of, like, any of this shit. It's just like, people get so bugged out about media sometimes. Like, especially, what it is is people are never taught rhetoric. They're never taught, like, how to read and how to even understand something. So people, they see, like, they see like NWA or, you know, whatever, fucking, you know, Fear of a Black Planet or whatever, and like they get really scared. They see Charles Manson talk about like pigs or whatever, and it terrifies them because they're just stupid. You know, they, it's, I mean, I shouldn't say they're stupid, they're uneducated. They don't, they don't get taught rhetoric or whatever. I mean, I don't think that I'm really like this genius or whatever. I just went to college, man. This is what I went to school for. It's not like, some kind of like big mystery it's just like fun this is just what i do i tell stories i make narratives i you know it's just fun i take it i take media and i do you know more with it than just make a song you know it's fun it's supposed to be like proactive it's supposed to be performative it's not supposed to be work like you know, like, a lot of people think they're playing, like, it, it, you know, it's like Derrida, you know? It's like play, like, the, it's the synthesis of work and play that make the great work, okay? And, like, like it's all about the lion eating the man or the man eating the lion. Like, when, you're when your play is being cruel to chickens that you're killing or people you're arresting, that's the lion eating the man, okay? That's you fucking up. That's you not succeeding in synthesizing the play and the work, okay? But whenever you're having fun and succeeding, having fun because you're succeeding, having fun because you're helping people, that's when you succeed in synthesizing the great work. That's the difference, okay? That's the difference between an alchemist and a chemist, okay?
just ours. So, I mean, somebody was talking about it, talking about me, and they were like, you know, writer's right. This is just like, yeah, that's, that's it. There ain't nothing more to it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't complicated. I do my thing, you know, for years. But we both got the same goal, you know, we work at the same time. If it don't seem like it. Oh my god, fuck. <laughs> This is typically how I do it. Like, like I, I don't do this stuff live that much, honestly. Like, this, like other than when I've done these, you know, like other than like, you know, for me and like my friends and stuff. Like, I don't typically do this stuff live. Like, you know, and they're not going to be like, oh, you're not crossfading well, blah blah blah. Like, they don't care. You know, it's all about the finished product, and they know that, and I know that. So, like, I mean, this is how I do stuff. Like, when I'm by myself or whatever. Check out, you are successful. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Ginger ale. Ooh. Is, is he gonna put robe custom in the ginger ale, guys? No, he's not. 
no Robitussin involved in it. It's just ginger ale. And I'm pouring it in this glass, in my tea glass. It's not complicated. You guys love tea. I know you love tea, and you love ginger ale. And you're like, cold infused, gin cold infused tea ginger ale. Wow, that sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea, guys. I do it all the time. I do all kinds of great stuff. I have great ideas. Sometimes, you know, they're not so great. But like, you know, I, I still have ideas. Everybody has ideas, you know? Thinking of ideas is how you do it. It's like, a, I'm a novelty generator, right? That's what they say. And then, uh, you know, that's a good thing, sometimes. Every, you know, it's a difficult thing, you know, because everybody, you gotta, every person who, who has access to new ideas, they always have to balance, like, how much, you know, what ideas to give, what ideas to use, and, like, honestly, like, a lot of times, like, people who are motivated just by money, like, that's bad, man. That's how bad things happen. Like, if you are just motivated, like, money is not good. Money is not good for the world, okay? There is lots of people who do terrible, terrible things with money. For money, blah, 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 like, you know, the most beautiful people do the ugliest things. Blah, 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 road to riches and diamond things. I don't know. Diamond rings and things. What a dumbass line. Kanye, come on. Come on, Kanye. What the heck? What kind of rhyme is that? It's passe, man. Passe, passe, man. Passe. I actually found one of my old tapes. I got an old tape recorder. I'm planning on uh, playing it for you guys at some point. Uh, I was gonna reach over there and grab it, but like, I don't want to stand up for you guys. You know, no pants. Don't tell anybody. I mean, I do have pants on, but like, you know, not a lot of pants. Not enough pants that I'm like want to put my crotch in front of the camera. Like. I try to be funny, like, I don't mind being a clown, I don't mind people laughing at me. I might even like it. Who knows? <laughs> it's not like I want to like it. You know? It's not like I ever wanted to like it. I def there are definitely times in my life when I didn't like it. You know? But, you know, the older you get, you learn to like it more and more, you know? That's what happened to me, anyways. Like, in a process of gradually adapting to like people looking at me, people having impressions of me. Like I've always been really scared of people. Like, and you know, this is like my way of you know overcoming that. Like, it, I mean, people. There was like El Connecta was talking about like the inner work and like what I'm doing out here is my inner work. And you know, it's true. It really is. Like, and a lot. And you know, that's what art is. That's what the great work is. You know, it's inner work. It's outer work, you know, it's the synthesis of the inner and outer works, and like, you know, it's just what I do, man, it's the caduceus, it's what we all do, you know, the earth makes the caduceus, if you actually, like, look at the rotation of the earth, it makes, like, a double helix around the sun, it ain't a coincidence, guys, it ain't a coincidence that the earth makes a double helix, and DNA's a double helix, and all this shit, that ain't a coincidence, okay, guys, I'm not saying that there's a god, Cause I don't know how it happens. It's probably like a physical phenomenon, math or some shit. Get that beam counter guy to explain it. To explain it to you. I don't fucking know. I don't really care. I just think it's weird. Yeah, but see, this is why I'm gonna be getting up and taking a piss at some point.
This is what it's all about, guys. And that's how it's done. Thank you, DJ Screw. Telling me how it's done. Telling me how to mix, because I was not doing, I tried, like I was doing it before. Like you can listen to my old mixes on my band camp and stuff. Like, and like, you know, they're pretty good. Whatever, I like them. Like they're just like, because they have ideas behind them, you know? So I like, the, I like that. Like I think the ideas make them good. But like my mixing is not nearly as good as it, as it is now. Like I'm a lot better than I, than I was back then. I mean, you know, it's been a combination of things. It's not just DJs for, you know, I learn tips from people. I watch YouTube videos. You know, I put effort into this day, even though you guys don't think I do. That's how you get good at something, is you put effort into it. You practice, you practice, 10,000 hours and all this shit. It ain't just a, it, people always expect, like, they're like, oh, I'm not talented. It's not talent. It's nothing but work, okay? I learned to be a writer in college. I learned to play music and shit by doing it for 10 years, and I was terrible, like, the whole time. I'm still terrible. I still practice all the time. And I'm always gonna be terrible, except I'm not, you know, I get a little better, you know? And that's that's good enough for me. Like, I don't need to compare myself to some fake ass, you know, rock star or whatever. Because they're not even real. They're propped up by a million, zillion people to make them look and sound great in every way. Like, you know, that's not what being a musician is about. And I, any real musician knows that. Like, anybody who actually plays or writes songs or anything, like, they know that. They give songs away. They they talk to anybody. They write songs to, for everybody all the time. Like it's just a thing you do all the time. Like and I write songs and I write poems. You know, and Kurt Cobain wrote songs for his wife and you know wrote all the songs on you know a lot of her albums and stuff. And like they had an arrangement like this and Nirvana hated it. But you know, that's not. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, it doesn't matter. If people resent Yoko Ono or fucking Courtney Love. I mean, it's it's it's. What, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with writing songs for somebody you love? It's, people are so fucking dumb, man. Like, why has everything got to be so insidious and weird? Like, it's not, it's not some, some crazy shit. Like, it's just a fucking, it's just people, man. Like, you can't believe that, like, things just are what they are. Like, why you got to look into everything and try to find more to, to something than there is? Like, a lot of times, you know, a lot of times things are just what they are. A lot of times, things are just what they seem like. That's just it. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes things aren't what they seem like, sometimes they are. You know, it's, you know just be cool. That's the thing about karma, you know? And it's like the, the karma is a rope that looks like a snake, and it's a snare that bites, or whatever. Like, it doesn't matter, okay? Which. which like, cause that's the thing, it's like, a, you know, you're wrestling with a snake, you know, like our kids. And it's like, you know, it goes, it's like a two-headed snake, you know, and like, it's a rope, it's a two-headed snake, you're tied, you're not, like, the point is to surrender your mind, to your mind, you know, to have faith in yourself. Like, that's, that's, there's not, like, this stuff is not complicated, these are just, you know, ancient simple stories meant to help people and feel better and blah blah blah. Like it's not complicated. People take it way, way too seriously. Way look way more into it than they need to. It's like, no, guys, it's not. That's not why it's here. Like, yeah, you can get really mystical. You can get really into the depths and understand like how this stuff was made, who made it, why it was made, blah blah blah. But like that stuff's not important. The important part is just to, you know, chill out, man. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. That's why I like the Buddhism shit. That's so, it's so funny because it's really like, that's really what it's about. You know, it's, that's really it. It's not complicated. You know, that's all Buddhism is trying to say. He's like, you know, think of the lilies of the field. Like, it's just like, you know, you're clothed as much as you need to be when you're born. Because God clothed you and you don't need anything else, you know? All this stuff about society and like buildings and all this stupid shit, like, you don't need any of that. It don't matter. I mean, not saying that it's wrong and we need to get rid of it, but, you know, that might be true. A lot of people have come to that interpretation, you know, the Amish, the Cathars, or whatever, but I mean, you know, 
know, it's just like, it's just people. I don't think, I think the main thing is we shouldn't burn people at the stake and, you know, boil them in oil and shit like that. That's bad. You guys didn't know that. Yeah, I love history. I love religious history. I love fucking King Arthur. That shit's awesome. This mix is great. No, it's probably not, but I like it. It's like I didn't make any I didn't make any master recording so stuff. I was like, oh well, I'll just uh I'll just cut it from the videos and it's like I don't wanna do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna do master recording. Like just like this. Like I got another sound card to do master recordings automatically, but I lost it. I don't know what the, I don't know where I went. Like it's a small one, you know, it's like a little USB one. And like I lost it. Like I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Disappeared, but whatever. Hibiscus tea is nice, though. It's like, it's you know, it's delicious. It's like natural Kool Aid almost, and like, I don't know. I like it, and like, but it makes you feel like, like I, I'm trying to avoid caffeine. Basically, it's just like, you know, it's not good for you. I have high blood pressure, as it is. I like this presentation. I think it's cool. Like I like that it's out of sync. Um, yeah. I like. I, you know, this is always how it goes. This is how I end up with some kind of wacky ass like nonsense by the time I'm done with the song because I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of interesting. I'll just leave that. I'll put that in. You know, I have a really additive approach to songwriting, which people say is bad, but you know, I don't care. I'm doing it for fun, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. How Zappa did it. How Zappa did it. It's all about, oh well, well here's a song about whatever, and let's also put a Stravinsky reference in there for no reason. You know, it's just like, it's just like how he did it. I don't listen to classical music, don't get that, get that, but like I've heard like Chopin. I used to listen to Chopin all the time, like a little bit, but like, you know, I, I, I'm not extensively, I don't extensively listen to classical music, I used to know this girl, and she, she was really into that shit, and she was like, you know, a way better musician than me. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it, there's nothing else. <laughs> but that's the end of the story. Um, yeah, it was a long time ago. I can't even remember what instrument she played. I want to say it was a flute. I'm like, it was a really long time ago. I'm talking like, not 10 years, nine, nine or 10 years ago, okay? Like, like this is a, I'm talking a long time ago. It's not you, whoever you are, if you're watching this, you're thinking that I'm talking about you, I'm not. It's somebody else. Not, I mean, people are, everybody is so similar. Like, people are so similar. Like, there's a lot of commonality between people, like, and, like, a lot of, especially younger people, like, they get really freaked out about this kind of shit. Like, I, like, I was, had this girl, I was driving around the other day, and it's, like, 
Epstein's like, oh, you know, people are all the same. You know, little Pete's like, oh, everybody's so fake, everybody's the same, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, that's that's true. So what? That is not, that's not bad? Are you a bad guy? There's people similar to you. <laughs> so what? People have things in common. You notice the commonalities before you notice the differences. Like, it's not a big deal that people have, things, have different things in common. Like, I don't know. People take shit way too seriously. What can you do? I mean, honestly, sometimes it get, people get this, use it as an excuse to be antagonistic to other people. Right? They're like, oh, you're just one of them. You're just this category of people that I've assigned. And it's like, dude, categories are bad. They're bad. They're bad for you. They're bad for everybody, man. I know you like using them, but you know, putting people in boxes is bad. You want to live in a box? No, it's bad. No one wants to live in a box. Don't do it. That guy isn't just the one thing, one bad thing he did, okay? Yeah, maybe he accidentally killed someone, accidentally killed some people, accidentally told some other people to kill some people. Like, dude, mistakes happen, okay? You know, you can't judge somebody's entire life just based on one fucking mistake they made. It's so stupid, okay? You make amends for that kind of shit. Read the Bible, man. You know, is there a put somebody in jail for life for doing some kind of crime in there? No, it's not a punishment that they use, okay? Yeah, they, maybe they kill some people sometimes because they're just like so, they think they're so bad and that's not true or good, but I mean, you know, that's a separate point. You're way better off, like, like just if you want to kill somebody for because they're bad, just kill them, man. Don't put people in jail for life because they're gay or because they're crazy or whatever, man. If you don't want them, just kill them. Show who you really are. You know, you're a fascist Nazi. That's what you want. That's what you do, man. You want to put people in the gas chamber? You fucking do it. None of this playing around, locking people in jail for life and enslaving them and all this shit. No, 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 that's gotta stop. No, 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 that's not cool at all. No, 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 no. You wanna do this? We're gonna do this right. This crypto fascism shit is coming to an end, man. This shit's going around. People know what's up. It's stopping. It's stopping. You Nazis are gonna be, uh, your Nazis are on your way out the door. You're gonna go one way or the other. It's either gonna be peacefully or it's not. I want it to go peacefully. I'm a peaceful guy. You all exploit the fact that we're all peaceful guys, but you know, that's, I mean, that's how these people get made. That's how Stalin becomes Stalin, man. You make them. I don't want Stalin to come, but you know, you make them. You want, you beg and beg, Bernie Sanders to be Stalin, well, Someday Stalin really gonna come, man. shit guys you hear that that 
my friends, it's poetry. Live off children. That's what you. That's what you motherfuckers do. Children living off of other children, man. Blind, leaving the blind. That's not how it's supposed to work. How do I, how do I turn that selection off? I mean, some of this, some of this FL Studio stuff does not work well. Like a lot of this, like they have all this legacy stuff that they uh, that they use, you know. And it's like some of it works well, and some of it. Works. Some of it works well, some of it doesn't. I love it. I know you're like, oh, it's static, it's bad. No, it's oh, It's good. Good. Great cut. Fantastic. Perfect. Perfect cut. I think you can disagree. I don't mind. I really don't. You want to make a better cut? Go ahead. You want to um, start a band? Let's do it. Yeah. Make me better, please. I'm going to go uh, take a pee. I'm just going to leave this on. Be right back.
Live Earth. Live off children of the past. I love that shit. You guys want to see me shit my pants on stream? I, I don't like shit my pants. I shit my pants sometimes. I don't like it. It's not fun. You're an ableist dickhead if you laugh at me about it. I don't mind. Because I like making you look like an ableist dickhead. I like showing people who you really are. You know what I'm saying? That's what clowns do. That's why kids are so scared of clowns. That's why people are scared of clowns. They know clowns know the truth. Clowns will fuck your life up. Clowns will, clowns will show everybody who you really are. Yeah, like I have no friends. So what? I've had one or two friends. I show them my music. So what? I, anybody I meet, I show my music to. Duh. I say my friends, but like they don't need to be. We don't need to be close. It's not like we're. At, it's not like they were my best friend and they were chilling in my room every day, all day, listening to me make beats. No, most of the time I'm doing it by myself. Duh. <laughs> Just like now, it's a little less so because I'm online. I'm putting it online as much as possible because I just figured, like, I'm doing this shit anyways. Why not? Stream it? It's just fun. It honestly, it makes me more likely to do it. Like, especially I like once you get used to it, like, it really it's motivating. You know, it's fun. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know. Got it. I love music. I had one of those ginger candies. That's why. That's the real reason why I got ginger ale. Because my tummy hurts all the time. Like, you guys don't understand what my life is like. I know you think all this stuff like about me. And have all these preconceptions about what I must be like and you know, why I must do the things I do. But it's fun or whatever. But it's not. Like I'm sick all the time. My head hurts all the time. It's not fun to be me. You know, I survive. I don't. I don't want to be Debbie Downer all the time and just be like, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Blah blah blah. Like I don't want to act like that, so I don't. You know, it's that simple. But like, I'm not lying or faking or any of that kind of shit. Like, I'm just capable of doing that. You know, and like, I'm proud of that. And I don't really care if it fucks my life up. Like the kind. Of, this is the thing about power. Like. It, it's bad. 
okay? And I don't like having the, the ability to act like I'm not in pain when I'm in horrible pain. I don't like having that ability at all. It does not help me at all in any way. It's just another thing I have to worry about, you know, putting in the right place and making sure that it stays in line and shit like that. Like, I don't know. It's bad. It's bad. It's not good at all. Power is always bad. Jesus didn't want the crown, and I don't fucking want it either, man. Fifty dollars for it, and I probably got it on some kind of weird, you know, con CIA conspiracy. Or it's like too damn cheap. It doesn't even make sense how I got this laptop for so cheap. Somebody was trying to give me a present. I got lucky with the guy at a pawn shop or something. I don't fucking know. I ain't that persuasive. I, mean, I pretend, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I can talk anybody into anything. I can make anybody do anything I want. I can't really, guys. Come on. You seriously believe that shit? <laughs> do I look like I can talk anybody into doing anything I want? <laughs> These people are dumb. Like seriously, people just, people believe, that's the problem. People just believe anything you tell them. It's not like I want to tell people. I'm just joking around and people, they take everything so seriously. Like, you gotta wear a mask. You gotta dress up like a clown. Or else people will take everything you say so fucking serious and they'll lose their damn minds. They'll literally kill you just over some nonsense that they don't even understand. They'll be like, oh, that sounds really similar to a thing I hate, so I'll kill you. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? No, this is a joke. They're so sensitive and stupid, and it's like, oh, what are you supposed to do about that? What you're supposed to do is educate them, okay? People talk about toxic masculinity and shit and feminism and all this stuff. It's real, man. You really, really need this stuff. You really, really do. I know you don't think you do, but you do. You toxic as fuck sometimes. I'm toxic as fuck sometimes, and I needed to learn better. I needed to be taught better. Okay, and my mother put this, you know, she taught me better than a lot of mothers would, okay? I'm not, she's not, she's not the best, I'm not going to say she's the best mother in the world or anything like that, you know, but she is better than some. There are some people out there whose mothers are really, really bad, okay? Yeah, my mom might have tried to kill me, but, you know, Marvin Gaye's dad tried to kill him too. And, you know, I mean, or he did. You know, the, I don't know, Michael Jackson's dad. You know, I mean, there's lots of complicated things in the world. You know, things aren't just black and white kind of like thing that people have told you that it is. You know, and you know that. You're here, you're, you're walking, you're a traveler with me too. We're travelers together. That's what we're doing right now, you know? Traveling through ideas, traveling through music, traveling across the wind. I'm just a man. You know, I picked those covers for reasons. You know, I was trying to say something. I 
know you think that it's just some stupid shit that I stole or whatever some of these tabs like I stole. Dude, it's three chords. It's three fucking chords. It's not I don't need to steal somebody's tab to play three chords, man. They're three cowboy chords. It's like the simplest song in the world. That's why I picked them. Because they're easy to play. I picked them specifically to try to avoid the kind of criticism that you were bringing at me. Because it's like, what kind of idiot can't play a one chord song or a two chord song? That's why I picked them. Because I wasn't trying to be like, oh, look at me. I'm a virtuoso musician. Because I'm not. It's fun. It's for fun. Okay? You're a miserable dick. Like, why you gotta shit on everything everyone does, man? Like, why can't we just start a band? Like, it's not a competition. I want to work with you. I want to talk to you. I want to play with you. It's fun. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm not trying to make the world a worse place. I just, I'm just doing what I love to do. And I, you know, I hope you do the same. I hope we can stand together and, you know, do the same shit like I that's what I want for both of us for all of us I just want to you know this this is all I want right now I'm totally at peace as long as nobody's gonna break my door down and kick my ass or tackle me or whatever I'm totally at peace you can make my credit score heard take my money I don't really care about like, do I care about some drugs some crackhead stole from me? No. I used to. I used to get really upset about that kind of shit. Like, I used to have kind of a drug problem. And, like, I would get really upset when people would steal my drugs. I'd be like, oh, my God, it's $150 a gram, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'd freak the fuck out. But, like, you know, life goes on, you know? I shouldn't have been spending my money on drugs. If I didn't spend my money on drugs, I'd be really wealthy right now, guys. And, yeah, it was really stupid of me, okay? So what? Everybody, you know, you can't let a mistake define your whole life, okay? You can't make one mistake define your whole life. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna keep making music, I'm gonna keep writing, I'm gonna keep doing everything, doing the same shit that I always do, and you know, I'm not doing drugs anymore. Especially not like how I used to, like, you know, I, I really cooled off a lot. Like, I know people, they don't understand that it's like a process and it's like work and stuff, but like, things were a lot worse before, honestly. Like, looking back, I was kind of out of control a little bit, and like, I know to everybody else it seems like I'm out of control now, and I was out of control, blah, 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 but no. Just because I'm retreated into my room and I'm really quiet and stuff like that, that does not mean that I'm doing well, okay? You guys are just don't understand. When Will's out and he's talking to people and he's doing things, he's making jokes, that's when he's doing well. When he's in his room hiding and that's when things are going wrong, okay, guys? When I'm quiet, that's when things are bad. Don't, you know, that's, that's bad. That's how you know when, you know, Will's thinking like, oh, wouldn't it be lovely to die? I mean, basically. <laughs> or, you know, some other kind of destructive shit. Some, or some kind of, it's either destructive or crazy or wacky or whatever, dude. Like, you know, it's not, it's not a good thing. You guys just don't understand. Like, you don't understand a lot of things. You, you and me, we just live different kind of lives. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with the way I live or the way I think. I know you think there is, but there's not. Like, this is just how I do things, and I do amazing things with the way I think and the way I do things. I think. You might not think so, but this is what I do. This is how I do things. You don't like it, you know, eat a dick. Leave me alone. Look at somebody else. Go bother somebody else. Go get into somebody else's business. This is what I'm doing. If you want to sit around and watch me all day, that's okay. I kind of get off on it. It's all right. I would like it if we could be friends. We could talk as equals, you know? I don't want an audience. I don't want people to worship me. I want equals in my life. I want partners in the world. I see people who are just as capable as me everywhere I look.
maybe you don't. Maybe you see me and you see like a you know, an idiot, but like you know, this is just, that's how this is how I see it. That's why I'm actually so how I see it. I mean, like some of this stuff, I, 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 you know, I know people use other kind of software. I just use this for so long. I, I've literally, this is like, I've used this since high school. This is exactly how I've done things like the whole, all the time. how you have to do it. You gotta listen to it a million zillion times and until you get sick. It's easier, it's better when you do it live, but like I said, my, uh, my, uh, shit. Or I would have done it live. And it's just like, I don't care. This is just, I'm just gonna chill and do this. It's, it doesn't bother me. This is how I would do it if we were just in a room together. This is how I'll do it now. Like, it's fine. It's not about, it doesn't need to be Madison Square Garden. That shit sounded awful. Like, ugh. Why? Ew. Dude, it sounded so bad. It's like, oh my god. And it's fucking flies in here. It's, it's not because of my room. It's really not. Like, I cleaned up and stuff. I cleaned up before I left, and I cleaned, I cleaned up after I got back. Like, it's pretty clean in here, other than, like, literally the shit, like, I just ate, or, like, the stuff that I just used, or, like, the can of whatever energy drink that I just drank that's, like, on the floor or whatever. Like, I don't, I try to clean up after myself, you know. I don't really care about it. I try not to be too persnickety, too persnickety as, uh, many people have told me. I was saying, like, you know, I, I can't help it, guys. Get off my ass. Like, everybody's always trying to, they're able as dickheads. Like, stop trying to tell me how to live my life. Like, either help me do the things I want to do, or don't. Like, don't try to stop me from doing what I want to do. Like, if I want to count floor tiles or whatever the fuck I want to do, let me do it. Leave me alone, dickhead. I don't need your fucking pills to stop me from counting floor tiles. I like counting floor tiles. Eat shit, you stupid ass pills. Don't make my, make my dick not work, except that I actually need them and I take them all the time. And I don't care, my dick never worked anyway. It's just whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, they make my life a lot easier, let's be real. I, 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 I like the, uh, I'm a, I'm an advocate for this stuff. Like I was, I, honestly, like I've told people to stop taking their meds before. I've advocated for that kind of stuff before and it was not good. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't have done it at all. I feel really bad for any time I've ever told people not to take meds or anything like that. Just cause like, man, don't fuck with it unless you really know what you're doing. Like. It's really, really dangerous to fuck with your brain chemistry, man. If you don't really, really, really know what you're doing, that's why we need supervision, that's why we need shamans, that's why we need doctors or whatever, dude. This is really dangerous to fuck with your brain chemistry, man. Like, there are some safe, I mean, like, weed's pretty safe, but it's not always safe, you know. It's, it's pretty, deep. bad things can happen when you fuck with your brain chemistry. I mean, that's just a fact. That's why people are scared of this shit, because people really do go nuts sometimes and kill people and shit like that. I mean, you've heard Tim Heidecker talking about that dude smoked some spice and, like, stabbed him or whatever. Like, I mean, this kind of shit does happen, and, like, I don't blame people for that. I don't blame people for being afraid of that kind of thing. It's just, it's a dangerous world out there, guys. You don't know where somebody's at. You gotta be prepared for these kind of things. 
I don't like it any more than you do. I don't want to get stabbed. It sucks, you know? It hurts. It hurts to get stabbed, guys. I know. I've been stabbed before. It sucks. I've been stabbed a few times, but, you know, it's my girlfriend. It doesn't matter, though. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know. These things happen. It's just like life. I can't. I can't get super upset about stuff. Like if I got, if I like being stabbed a couple of times in my life, I'd be like, you know, it's just like in my hand and like in my shoulder and stuff. It's not like she stabbed me like in the gut. That'd be really fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, the hand and the shoulder's pretty bad too. But like, you know, the gut's way worse. Like you'll die from that shit. It's like a little knife, you know? It's not like a big knife. It's like a little knife or a razor blade. Not like a big knife. One of those little box cutter type, type of deals. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, don't matter. So, yeah, I wonder if anybody's actually in here. I am screaming, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing if I was just in the I do this all the time. It doesn't matter. This is literally my life. This is how I act. I have to be this way. You know, I have to. That's how... You know, that's how I do this. So, I'm like, I just do it all the time. I do it all the time. I don't care if anybody's listening or whatever. If I just do it all the time and I just keep doing it, that's good enough for me. I'm happy. I, I really am. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. I don't want success. I don't want money. I know you can't imagine that I just do this for fun, but I really do. Just like a basketball, just like a basketball player plays basketball outside with his friends, I do this. It's that simple. hurts all the time. I feel like I'm so fat.
At least it's not me playing that I have to listen to over and over again. I, I hate hearing my own voice. I think I sound like shit. Like people tell me I sound like shit. And I'm like, dude, you think I don't know that? What do you think, you're some kind of detective? And you're solving a mystery by telling me that my singing voice sounds like shit? Great, good for you, man. You're a fucking genius. Thanks. Thanks a lot, I'll keep working on it, because that's all I fucking do. I don't really need you to tell me that I sound like shit. Thanks, I know. <laughs> Not hard for me to tell I sound like shit, I know. I, don't, I mean, like, seriously, people think that, like, a person who works on something like this doesn't pay very close attention to what they're doing and how they sound and compare themselves to, like, other people and stuff. Like, you don't think people do that? Like, we do it way more than you do, man. We know way more about it than you do. You're an idiot. You're an idiot fucking sheep who knows nothing about the crap, who knows nothing about how this stuff influences your life. And, you know... You prefer to keep it that way. I wouldn't prefer you to keep it that way, but you'd prefer you to keep it that way. And you know, I just have to learn to respect that. I hate it, but I do. Oh, look, I have a bag of these plums. Yeah. Plums and ginger ale. That's how we do it up in here. Okay? As well as an old lady with stomach problems, okay? She throws up, shits in his hands. It's not fun. Okay? It's not fun. It's not a party. Smoking weed. It's not. Okay? It's not shit in your pants. And that's it.
starting to see the picture, guys. Starting to get the picture. And over six million better pair but I don't have them. <laughs> like honestly I have better things to put my money into than a stupid pair of headphones, okay? Like if you wanna do something good, give me a pair of headphones, bitch. Fuck you. Stupid shit head. You ain't cool. You ain't smart. Alright, you're kinda cool and you're kinda smart and I kinda like you a lot. But I don't care. Fuck you anyway. Alright guys, duty called, so uh, hope you like this little mix I got had going here, I think it sounds pretty good, uh, I don't have a fader on the master volume right now, um, for some reason I set these on the master volume for some reason but uh yeah no i'm gonna call this right now hope you enjoyed the mix maybe i'll come back a little later i just gotta go do some shit or whatever thanks thank you thank you thank you thank you